Okay, so welcome back. In this tutorial, you will learn how to perform a cross-site request forgery attack. But first of all, let's understand what is cross-site forgery. Cross-site request forgery is an attack that tricks a web browser into executing an unwanted action in a web application where the user is logged in. This means that the victim will need to be logged in in order for the attack to succeed. And with a little help of social engineering, such as sending a link to the victim, an attacker may trick the user to perform changing requests, like transferring funds, changing passwords, and so on. To demonstrate how cross-site request forgery works, I will use my vulnerable web application with the security level set to low, and go to CSRF. In this page, you can change your admin password. So I will put my new password pass and click change. To test the new password, I will re-log in. Okay, so for this video, I will show you how you can change the victim password, which is pass in my case. For that, you need to use right click and select view page source and copy this form right here and then paste the content into a text file. To make the code cleaner, I will remove the BR tag and change the message here to click the button below to claim your prize. And use the H1 tag if you want. Then change the input type in the password field to hidden. Now to change the victim password, you need to add value equal here and put the new password. So I will use the word cracked for the new password in both fields and change the value here to claim your prize. And then you need to copy the link up here and paste it in form action. At this point, you will need to save the form as HTML. The name doesn't matter. So I will save the file as prize.html. If the victim opens the file and clicks the price button, then the password will be changed to cracked. To demonstrate that the password was successfully changed, I will log in again and use inspect element and change the input type to text, because I want you to see the password in clear text. And if I press login, you can see the password is working fine. So that's it for now, thanks for watching and I will see you next time.